you know, I get upset because every year, food, transportation, gas, insurance, all that stuff goes up. And when you stay working at a place that doesn't appreciate you or doesn't encourage you in any way, but you come because of members and clients, it's saddening. I'm gonna show you what I'm about to buy and how much it's gonna cost me and how many classes it takes for me to teach in order to get some of the things that I need. As much as I love avocados, I'm not paying $3 for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Now, it has been my experience buying things at Harris Teeter that they, they're already ripe. Like, so I've learned to touch everything and grab whatever's not ripened or getting ready to go bad because I live far and I'm not coming back all the way over here to exchange some produce. You see them? They're all soft and mushy. It's ridiculous. It's supposed to be crunchy. And then they'll throw them away because they're not sellable. Just like just like these avocados. How are you going to... I don't understand. $3.49 or, or $2.99? Seriously? And I mean, I can eat them right now, but I don't got money to be buying two or three avocados. And this is the kind of lettuce that I want right now. Look how much it costs for this little container. Organic tomatoes. You see this? $4.99 for a four pack. You see how small they are? Look how small they are. And they're almost ripe. I'm gonna end up taking these sweet potatoes. Yeah, I'm gonna stay away from that. Yeah. So, buy one, get one free, right? $7.99 for one. You see how small these things are? This is like crazy. Like, I'm about to cry right now. Sometimes I wanna buy me some more of these, and I can't. Cause it's either that or groceries. And apparently to It's Wasim, he says this is the best uh, dressing and sauce that you can use. Cayenne pepper, distilled vinegar, avocado oil, potato starch, organic distilled vinegar, organic garlic powder. And I'm not getting any endorsement for this, but I gotta eat healthier. I do want some of that. that. Yeah, I want some of that. And oh heck yeah. Heck yeah. And I, again, I'm not endorsing them because they don't um, they don't pay me for this. But I've tried these and they, ha oh, I haven't tried that one. But you see how expensive they are? You see that? They're expensive. Everything that you want to eat healthy and clean is expensive. And don't get me started with the milk prices, okay? Yeah. I tried this brand and it's one of the cleanest brands and it's really good. Although it splits very quickly when you put it in coffee or, you know, like a chai tea latte. But um, yeah, you know how much one of them costs? Cause I'm not buying two, I'm not. And because I'm always helping people out and I'm always giving them my comfort, my words of wisdom, my healing. My daughter said that the strawberry one is really good. I'm not really much of a strawberry person. I like like a really dark chocolate or a, some type of, you know, chocolate mint. So, but look how much they, look how much they cost. You see this? Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to get them because look at all the ingredients. So that's a no. I'm trying to eat healthy. And no matter how much I need comfort right now, looking at all these other ice creams like i'm looking at them and those are expensive but i can only imagine how much the clean ones cost oh my goodness let me see i don't even know where they at because i don't really shop here like that all right so i'm i'm gonna have to leave the ice cream aisle because there's really nothing healthy here like nothing all this stuff is full of chemicals and 
you know, people give me compliments and they tell me, how do you keep your skin looking so young? How do you, how do you maintain, you know, all this energy? I'm watching what I'm eating. And yes, while I've gained some weight, I've gained some weight. Because you could be on an organic diet, um, natural diet, and still gain weight if you don't move around and do what you need to do. And because I'm working from home, you know, it's kind of hard, especially since I got so many assignments and, and, you know, reports and stuff that have to be done. I try to crush them out so I can, you know, be able to focus on my classes. And then I got to answer emails and then I got to do invoices and then I got to, you know, check to see if I'm getting paid because uh, turns out one job hasn't paid me since October. And had it not been brought to my attention, can you imagine? We're talking about almost a thousand dollars. And then I'm wondering why my isn't a negative and I'm owing all these insufficient fees. Y'all want to see what I'm looking at right now? You see how much this is? Look how small. Really? Oh. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this bag, it's not even full. I'm going to show you what it costs. You see what this is costing me right now? You see this? So I forgot to put in my savings bonus card. And no, I'm not going to sue y'all for false advertisement, okay? Because that was my fault. Um, and I came to the customer service here at Harris Teeter and they took $8.21 off my total bill. I'm walking out of the Harris Teeter and I spent almost $75 and then I just realized that I didn't use my card so customer service was nice enough to fix it and uh, I got $8 back. For this little bag, almost 60 something dollars, close to $70 and it takes a lot of fitness classes okay because remember if you're a w-2 um you're gonna get taxed right so it'll probably take three classes right for me to work and make this amount of money after taxes fees medicare medicaid social security you know 401 and all that stuff right normally i pay attention to what i'm doing because uh, this is how people get carjacked. But I'm to the point right now where I will fight for my life and I will beat somebody up if they try to carjack me. <sighs> but yes, this is how much I spend um, just for little things. And it's just me. And because I couldn't get any ice cream, right? And I got to pee. I couldn't get any ice cream. I'm going to attempt not to eat the whole freaking bag before I get home. Because I'm not supposed to be eating. I'm not supposed to be eating. I, I've, already, I've already ate for the day. Like my two meals and my snack, right? But I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. Influencers endorse these type of things. And they get commission out of it. You know. They get money. These are really good. And I reached out to them and asked them if I could be an ambassador. You know, perhaps maybe get products. But some companies, especially family-owned companies, they don't want to share them all. But they're healthy and they're vegan. And um, I'm going to eat a handful of them before I get home. Because I'm emotional right now. And... Um, trying to contain myself so I don't get distracted and I can drive home peacefully and get there in one piece. So I just got home. It's like 10.35 p.m. I'm tired. Also, I mentioned that I only ate half of the bag. Oh, well, I'm not even going to say half of the bag because the bag was probably like down to here. So I ate like that much and there's like this much left. These bags, they don't, they don't come filled. Needless to say that uh, I forgot to mention that I took a toll roll. And, you know, if I would have taken the regular um, road to get home, <laughs> I probably would have gotten here at 11 o'clock. You're asking me why I am not going to be teaching at certain places or not going to be teaching certain classes. I, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I love 
what I do. When I tell y'all I love what I do, I have people coming up to me every single day telling me how much they enjoyed the class, how much they, you know, if they go on vacation, um, you know, how much they miss my class or, you know, how I made them feel. I had one particular student today that came out and told me um, they took my Zumba class and then they took my yoga class, my mind and body. That's what I call it. And they specifically said that they hate, that they hate doing yoga, right? but they love doing my class. Why? Because I try my very best, very best to be as open, genuine, comforting as I possibly can to teach these forms of fitness. Because, you know, mind and body is considered fitness. And another student came out and said, I'm not I'm I'm not reading this right. And he showed me his his Apple Watch and said, Is this true? Is this how many calories I burned while doing a mind and body class? And I said, Yeah, yeah. I hold everybody accountable. If you have a Samsung watch or a um an Apple Watch, anything that will help you read how many calories you burn and how many steps you've taken in a class, you know, it's helpful and it boosts morale. It lit you hear my stomach? It literally boosts morale. It will make a person feel accomplished. They completed something. And that's one of the reasons why I don't stop teaching. But toll roads, some places I got to pay parking, which I completely stopped paying for parking because I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I got to buy groceries. You know, I can't be eating out all the time. Granted, I don't have a full kitchen, but I can't be eating out all the time. You know what I mean? So it's just really frustrating. It's frustrating. Try to put this stuff away because I have limited space since I live in a very, very small space because I can't afford anything bigger. Take a shower, get ready for tomorrow and still train because I'm I'm training for races next uh, next week <laughs> next year and you know I became an ambassador for Rip It events and I will be um volunteering in some races and assisting while also running the races and uh, I wanted to be part of this group because I wanted to scratch up things from my bucket list but that's my story and I'm going to attempt to fight to go to sleep because that's another thing. If I lay down, it'll take me an hour to go to sleep. And no matter how many drugs you say to take, whether it be over the counter, whether it be pills, jellies, it don't matter. Put something underneath the tongue, it doesn't work. And I just broke a nail. It's okay. Anyway, that's my sign to get out of my car. By the way, I got to remind myself to put these bananas in the freezer. Why? Because... <laughs> they'll go bad. They'll ripen. I took them off the peel because I refused to pay for something that I'm not going to use. So I peeled them. <laughs>